I have a robot. I built it myself. Prepare your bot. Destroy. What? This is not possible. Hey everyone, Thornton Smash here, and today we're gonna to be talking about buffs and nerfs in Apex Legends. As it seems that the respawn team is going in certain directions, although they have fumbled the bag a little bit recently, and we're gonna talk about that as well. We're gonna go over what you can expect for the future. We're also gonna give out 45 bucks. All you gotta do is like, comment, subscribe. You guys know the drill, but without further ado, let's talk about what's changing within the game. So we're just gonna start this video off with a little bit of crazy information from some recent things that I've been told. It seems like they're gonna continually be changing around with the new class system that we got, where we had a bunch of legends organized into new things such as assault, skirmishers, recon control and support and from what i've recently been told if you are a loba fan you might be looking forward to a future where she's actually put into the assault class or at least removed from the support class something about her being able to craft banners and then also having all this loot something within respawn seems that they want to go ahead and change that but now let's go ahead and talk about what's really going on with the meta of this season and when the season launched we got three major buffs and nerfs one to being the catalyst where she can now block the walls from seer along with mirage getting changed from skirmisher to support like we just went over as they are going to continue to change support class and Ash also getting a buff to move speed and targeting enemies with her tactical. Now the Catalyst one when it came in actually did not work right away. They actually had to patch it and continually fix it and now Catalyst can finally block Seer which is a nice little upgrade to Catalyst and stops kind of that shooting through diamonds meta. However as most of us are aware there was a brand new buff and nerf that actually went in in the middle of this season. Just about a week ago Seer got a ton of new changes as you can all see listed here and from what we originally saw a lot of people thought oh this is a nerf he's not going to be anywhere near as viable. However the exact opposite has happened. We can actually look at this clip from Moki Sniper right here where he gets hit with a Seer Tactical and now not being able to use any abilities for 10 seconds and the slow is absolutely busted. It actually makes Seer incredibly powerful and this is echoed by statements from some very good Apex Legends players. Hal brought up the fact that Seer is still OP, Horizon Heirloom is mid, event skins are sick, the Nemesis is basically the same after the nerf, he misses the R99 and a ton of bugs and he's still waiting on rank changes. We're gonna go back to that in a second actually. And he further elaborated you're gonna have a guaranteed 10 second silence on it at least one player every fight in two and a half seconds slow it is insane you cannot move you literally just die so fast they wonder if they're going to do anything about it before LAN or not and it's not just pro players that have picked up on this seer i actually went ahead and took a look at and his pick rate has jumped up to 4.1 percent putting him in the top nine legends it's been an almost 89 to 90 percent increase in his pick rate if you watched my video a week ago he was actually in the bottom nine legends but has skyrocketed since so it's clear that this did not actually address the seer issue and only made him a little bit more powerful and the reason they all did this is no big secret at this point we all know we are getting revenant reborn who's going to have a completely different tactical and he is most likely going to be our season 18 legend as we've heard nothing about any other legends and it's a complete rework to his kit there's been a couple of different leaks the most interesting one is probably i loot games who does have a playtest version that he saw and the new tactical allows him to super jump to a targeted location similar to vantage's tactical and the silence is gone so with that gone they decided to just put seer in his place but now seer is way too overpowered it seems like they're having a lot of trouble balancing these legends and swapping their abilities around it's not the first time we've seen it lifeline for instance had her awesome drone shield which was then taken away and removed and given to newcastle and she still doesn't have one yet her pick rate is still higher than newcastle but it's overall just a very confusing situation on how they're deciding to do these buffs and nerfs and it's really actually bleeding into the rank system as you can see right now i took this picture yesterday 15 percent of all players are in the masters category if you play this season not to mention it's actually broken as well as no lp gain seems to still be an issue within the game and this was originally brought up by kobe but still it completely dwarfs diamond class at this point platinum and diamond combined are getting very close to still not matching masters and respawn hasn't made any official statement on when they're going to change thing and the split has now moved to storm point and broken moon and a lot of players just really don't enjoy those maps but even if you do you have to admit they're probably not the best for this kind of rank system we are getting a brand new storm point update in just a couple of weeks and i hope that they course correct a lot of these things i'm not sure what exactly happened to respawn's balance and design team but it seems like they're taking a massive step back and things just aren't being play tested before they're released for us to actually play we know down below what kind of busted nerfs do you think would be the healthiest for the game going forward and who do you think needs it the most also don't forget to check out the second mystery channel right here with some great apex legends content and until next time legends keep slaying the aliens i'll see you out there